Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create an icy kind of nail. Um, you're going to need some foil and all you're going to do is scrunch up that foil so that it looks all crinkly and then you're going to slip that foil between your, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, the, the nail form and the actual nail and then tuck it around the form and then where the, the foil is all crinkled underneath the, the nail, the acrylic nail, it's going to give you this nice icy icy look. Um, if you've got a bulldog clip here, I would use a, a clip to, to keep that foil together with the form, but I didn't have one, so um, I'm going to be using some Mylar Flakes from Nail Sugar. I've got the white and blue ones, and I've got the Sapphire Blue Hollow Shards, which I love at the moment. And I've also got some mini tinsels from Nail Sugar. I've got turquoise. And I've got the silver hollow ones. Actually, they're all hollow. But I'm going to use those in this nail. Um, so the I've put some in a glitter tray. They're so pretty. So, um, yeah, I still have my flexi hand. Um, oh, I'm using the blue acrylic that I made up with the blue pigment from Nail Sugar. And before you start this nail, you're going to need to put some cuticle oil just on the foil where the tip, the free edge is going to be because then that will... I've done this nail before in a previous video that you might have seen, um, but I had a lot of difficulty getting the foil off the back. And I did hear that if you put cuticle oil on the foil before you put your, um, your free edge on, it should pull the foil off a lot easier. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to apply my first bead of clear acrylic to create the free edge. Um, I Yeah, so I have still got my my flexi hand. I still love it, don't worry. Um, but I've got all these whole, um, what do you call it, full coverage press-on nail tip, false nail tips. Because I was going to start selling press on nails but I just haven't had the time to create any so I thought if if I'm using gel polish at the moment I'll use those those full coverage tips and then if I'm using acrylic I will use my flexi hand um, just so that I can use the tips up because I've got long stiletto tips as well for my flexi hand and I've got these full coverage tips so I just thought it would save the tips you know I don't know um, so I I'm still putting on, this is going to be a rather long nail if you hadn't already gathered. This is just a thin, a thin layer of clear acrylic. I'm going to put the blue now at the cuticle area. And I'm not going to cover the whole nail with this. I'm just going to blend it down a little bit. I want the the sort of like the free edge of the nail to be clear so you can really see that icicle not icicle but that like ice look um thank you to everyone by the way for all your get well wishes oh, i feel really loved bless your hearts i do feel loads better i don't think i don't know that i sound any good but i do feel loads better so thank you so much so i'm just fading that blue out a little bit And then I'm going to go in with some of the sapphire blue shards and I'm just going to place these at the cuticle area and bring them down the nail a little bit. If your acrylic dries you can pick them up with a clear bead of a little clear bead of acrylic. Make sure it's quite wet though because you don't want you don't you don't want the acrylic to be thick. I'm then going to go in with the blue um, the blue mylar flake, blah, 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 blah. the blue mylar flakes, and then I think I put some of the white ones down at the bottom. I can't remember now. Maybe I didn't. I'm also going to put some of the silver and the turquoise tinsels between the mylars I don't want to I don't want to put too many because I still want you to be able to sort of see that the nail is see-through 
see if I if I'd have clipped all that underneath together it just would have made it a little bit more tidier a little bit more I'm kind of holding it together with my fingers underneath if you can see that so I just I just put a little bit of clear acrylic there just to hold the bits the bits down I didn't want them to, to start moving anywhere And now I'm just putting on some of that silver, or is this turquoise? I think this is the silver tinsels. I love these so much. And then I go in after that with some of the turquoise tinsels. Just to give the nail a little bit more icy feel, icy feel. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and cap that nail in clear acrylic. I do I I do this in a lot of smaller beads as opposed to like maybe a couple of big ones. It's weird. I find my alpha brush it holds a lot of monomer but I don't know, sometimes it's easier I don't know, it's weird. I, I don't know, my alpha brush is weird. I do need to try some new brushes. But it's just the money, I need to find some money. <laughs> okay, so once that's set, <clears throat> you can see here that the, the foil just pops off really easily. There we go, because of that cuticle oil. Um, I'm going to go ahead and file and buff it. And then this is what it looks like, filed and buffed. It's so pretty. I don't feel like you can see the... Um, oh, I just thought I'd show you from the side. Some people like to see side views. That is one long nail. <laughs> I'm going to top coat it now. No, I'm not. I'm going to wipe it over with some alcohol. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's the story of my life. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see it. I think I've put too much mylar in, to be honest. But it looks a little bit like an ice cube at the bottom. So I'm going to use my Nailcomy non-wipe top coat to top coat the nail. Prepare yourselves, everybody. This is the best bit. Stop cotton cam. And so right up to the cuticle and flow the brush down. <laughs> Look how pretty that nail is. Holy cow. Just want to make sure you cover the sidewalls properly. Um, you can top coat the back, but you don't want to flood it. You just want to put like a very, very thin coat on the back. Otherwise, you kind of lose that icy look. Um, you kind of look, it's a bit like um, going over. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, but you don't want to put too much on the back because you'll lose those sort of like facets that you created with the foil. So that's the finished nail. Um, I was just going to do the one nail and make that the video, but um, I decided to do one more, but I'm not using foil. I'm just going to do this normally. And I'm also going to add Bermuda Bay to the mix. This one's really pretty. So again, I've got the blue that I mixed with the blue velvet pigment from Nail Sugar. And um, I'll try and link the video somewhere, but it probably won't be till later because this morning I'm trying to, I'm voice noting this before I've got the kids to school, voice noting. I'm dubbing this before I've got the kids to school because I need to get to my grandparents early today. So I'm trying to get this video up early for you guys so that you don't have to wait all day for it. 
so I'm going to put the Bermuda Bay underneath the the darker blue and I'm going to put it up sort of at an angle and just sort of fade it in and then I, I want to leave the bottom bit clear um, I'd done the first nail a few days ago and I thought I, I'm going to do a few more nails. I'm going to make like a whole set of this. Um, blue, sh blue shards, pop those on too. Uh, and I couldn't remember what number I went up to on the form. So all the nails are slightly different lengths. But then I was like, well, they are icicles and icicles aren't all the same length. <laughs> I did try to make them all the same length, but I kind of failed a little bit. So I'm adding the blue shards and the silver tinsels and I'm going to put some silver tinsel at the bottom. I really, I like this nail. This is, I think, other than the middle nail, this is my favourite nail. Oh, actually, I quite like the, the only one I don't like is the index finger because I didn't leave the, oh, by the way, I'm only going to show you me doing these two nails. The, the other nails are pretty much very similar. It's just like a different I just apply the, the the acrylic and the the uh, glitters and stuff, you know, just in different places. But the index finger, I don't I don't have a clear bottom, um, and it just looks slightly out of place, in my opinion. Um, so don't look at the index finger. It also looks wonky, but it's not. I think it's I don't know it's, I don't know what it is. It's it's weird. So I'm going to cap this nail now um, in the clear acrylic. I think I'm using Clear Candy from Team Gorgeous. And my brush is a size 10 round alpha brush for anyone that's interested. So um, I filed them all and I'm going to wipe them. See, it looks wonky, but it isn't. It, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to clean the dust off the ball. I didn't have to worry about that middle one because we've already done that finger. And I, I didn't do the thumb today because it was just going to take more time that I didn't have. So I'm now going to top coat. Again, I'm using my Nalkami non-wipe top coat. So you can see I've made a little swoosh with the glitter on this nail. I think this is... Oh no, it's not the longest. I think the middle one's the longest. A little, little hair there. Those tweezers from Beauty Big Bang are great for getting like bits of fluff out the top coat. They're brilliant. Look at that. That's so pretty. I wanted to show you the C-curve as well because I got quite a nice C-curve on that one. <laughs> I, did, I was like, can I see it? Can I see it? Can I see it? <laughs> so that's that one. I do have to cure these individually because the lamp I'm using... People have been asking what lamp I'm using. At the moment, I'm using a Sun 9X lamp and I don't like it. I find that it doesn't cure the nails evenly. Um, I, I just... I need to dig my old... I need to dig my Sun 5 lamp out again. Um, yeah. Uh, I like this nail too, actually. Um, again, I kind of wanted to show you the C-curve. I don't know why. Some people like to see it, don't they? Um, and with this one, because the clear, the the, the bottom is clear, I'm gonna pa -pa 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 -pa. <laughs> put my teeth back in. Um, I'm gonna top coat the back as well. It just makes the the bottom bit a little bit more transparent. And then finally, the pinky, which I think is probably my favorite, maybe maybe not my favorite favorite, but it's one of the favorite. I don't know. It's really nice. I like it. Look how gorgeous that is. And again on this one, I kill the front and then I will top coat the back as well just to make it a little bit more transparent. And then that is the finished set. Even though I missed out the thumb. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I hope you like these. Um, yeah, I haven't actually sculpted on my hand I don't think for like a proper video before but there we go first time for everything 
um i hope you like these if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to join my giveaway make sure you comment on the video um the giveaway video i mean to be in for a chance of winning and i will see you all tomorrow have a great wednesday bye